And we're back. Yes. Done mm -hmm. with that museum, hopefully. Relive your past. Got very slight lag there, my laptop's been playing up a lot. Uh, we, we burn through laptops, don't we? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, right. Uh, the sacrifice done. that must be made for great let's plays. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, we're done with the museum. The museum will be closing in ten minutes. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Are there any ladies in here? I'm pretty sure we're the only guest. Yeah. Or the only person to ever come in here. Yeah. All the rest of residents. We have seen no tourists, apart from, like, Hardacre, but he's a regular. Well, yeah. Freedom! The bell is still ringing. <laughs> Time stood still within the museum. And everywhere else in Saxton. <laughs> it has been like a day. Whoa. Okay, now we can go into Nanny Noah's place, but before we do that, something I'd like to do... Oh no, we can't escape. We're trapped. Okay, museum or Nanny Noah and the vicious dog. It'll have to be the dog. <laughs> Get in here! Oh, I wanted to go back and listen to those cassettes. We got like 20. Oh yeah. Oh, we're just gonna have to deal with this. The Ark. Can we knock and actually get a response from someone? Come back in the morning. Oh, damn it. Here you are. Whoa, look at that on. television. What is that? Looks like... Is that the TARDIS? Is this Doctor Who? This is the worst episode of Doctor Who I've ever seen. It's one of the really old ones. It's one... I don't want to go for the surreal approach for this episode. <laughs> Hello, George. What, no barking response? Let's just look around the room while we can. Family photos... Oh yeah, they keep referencing that uh, she lost a child, maybe? Ooh. Okay. I have to go through, like, the Saxton lore again to uh, remember everything. Ah, uh, cool jukebox. No, not jukebox. Five miles, west by north, three, 19 miles, 1027, rising slowly. Bridley. <laughs> It's beautiful. Change the station. Classical FM. What do the other buttons do? Uh, nothing. They might be on an awful volume. Quality is astonishing. It's the first one. Right, so we got three classicals and one shipping announcements, maybe. I think so. The oh, shipping yeah. schedule, or whatever it is. Yeah. Or weather. An insect? Maybe a dragonfly? Oh no, she killed the dragonfly from earlier. <laughs> oh no! Sit down, boy, I'll put the kettle on. Guess we're sitting down for a cup of tea. We're listening to two stations at once. I guess. signals. It just fades out. And that's all you need to know about Saxton. <laughs> that was, oh my god, there were map coordinates for the crown. Oh. Okay, we get it. Hmm. Suspense. Coins. Steal her change. We can use it to buy samosas. Oh, Presumably. We eat free. Oh yeah. Yes, these are the things we have looked at. We know this. I should never have looked at them. The game was like, you must see these things. These are the things that you have seen. The game just keeps going back further and further and shows us the entirety of Saxton. No! Oh, okay. Is this like an intermission while the rest of the game loads? Maybe we're meant to be talking about something while this is going on. They had us in mind. That looks like Saxton Shore, maybe. I don't really know. I don't know what that painting is. Oh, 
And the tea I've was had quite poisoned. A day. I can see. You must tell me about it. But first, you must have some questions. Or something to show me? This seems hmm. awfully uh, suspicious. Hmm. Can I ask about Northfield Church? Of course, I'll help if I can. I believe Northfield Church is haunted. Oh, without doubt. Who do you think it is? I'm not sure, but all clues are pointing towards the Aegis. The Aegis? Oh, Nigel, you're going to have to take care. Why? Is there something I should know? Brothers, four of them, all connected to the local churches. Yes, Thomas Aegis was a rector at Northfield. How dark! Hearted, even that he was nasty man. She knows a lot. We should have just talked to her in the beginning. She is eternal. <laughs> She's like the Oracle from the Matrix. For Saxton. Yeah. <laughs> this world might be like the Matrix for all we know. Well, that's a pretty legitimate theory. It's more legitimate than. Well, it's not. Well, most people are like going with, I think, dream. Um, alternate yeah. artificial reality thing. I keep imagining that Danvers is in a pod wearing one of those crowns, and this is some kind of... I don't know. I like to believe this place actually exists, and it's just hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> well, sign me up, I want to be one of the villagers. Haddon just saw that, like, <laughs> Nigel was heading towards Saxton and was just like, okay, you know what, this is just too funny, let's not stop him. <laughs> I'm revisiting the church. Later tonight. How? It's a jolly long way and there's no night bus. The train tracks lead to Carrion Wood from Sedgemarsh Station. In that case, you must take this charm. I felt there was someone or something watching me from the railway sidings. I know. I know, Nigel. Be careful tonight. Take this broken fork. This game's getting pretty ominous. She's not actually going to tell us anything, is she? Hmm, I think she's here to build suspense for, for now, but the way this game is going, there might actually be a legitimate threat. I mean, Thomas Egg is a pretty scary guy. The ghosts. We've the... only met the friendly ones. Well, <laughs> maybe. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see where it goes. It might be epic. I met Mr. Russet, the grave digger. Wesley Russet is as old as these fens. I knew it! He talked about the old. Ways. Oh, did he now? We'll have to talk about that, you and I. Have I done something wrong? No, not at all. You're just not ready for such things. I've seen ghosts. May I ask about something else? <laughs> Give me credit. Of course. I'll help if I can. It seems to be a pretty regular thing around here. Yeah. You were right about the antique. Oh, yes. Oh, Nigel, I told you not to visit. Curiosity killed the cat, you know. Speaking of cats, there seem to be a few missing. Yes, vanished without trace, dratted creatures. Not a feline fan, eh? Oh, not at all. George loathes the things. Nope, George is the culprit. Yeah. Mystery solved. Quite possibly. She said, oh, no, gone without a trace, nowhere to be found. <laughs> They're not in my shed. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> well, she's the only person so far who has, like, expressly said that she doesn't like cats. Yeah. No one else even mentions it. It's all on the posters. We're solving some pretty weird mysteries so far, aren't we? They're weird mysteries to solve. The museum presented many mysteries. It hides more mystery than it exhibits. Dig deep, my boy. The answers are there to find. As well as more questions, I expect. Basically, look behind that door. And you... Can you take a oh, look sorry. <laughs> at this item? Of course. I'll help if I can. Oh, what do we have to give her? Uh, we can show items. Okay. No, not the plants. Digitalis. Oh. The foxglove. Deadly poisonous. Uh-huh. Hmm. A moon daisy. Pretty things. <laughs> mm, the humble dandelion. These are all just things we picked up hunting for stew stuff. Yes, pretty much. Not all is as it seems. Well, Deep. <laughs> it's one of those cryptic people when Danvers is buying every word of this. Yeah. Is that a face or maybe my imagination? 
Nope, it's a ghost. My camera has the power to pick up ghosts. Mm. Oh, I wish I could help. But I can't read. What about the tapes? Not all is as it seems. Can we make her listen to the tapes? Mm. No. Oh, I wish I could help. I've been watching the TV and it's got some pretty dark images on it. Hmm. Ah. Huh. I have this from Northville Church. Oh, goodness. Funeral service? And so soon? The vicar told me to bring it to you. Vicar? At Northville? That was quick. Oh, thank you, Nigel. Yes, thank you. I shall get trimming and strimming later tonight. Poor evening. What? Oh, now, now. That's enough chatter for now. Give me your hand. Why? What do you want to do? Why? Pitch your palm, of course. Come, come. Ugh. First, in Nigel, we shall look at your lifeline. That's incredibly this short. This piece here, which runs from the side to the base of your hand. You have the best kind of lifeline, which is strong and clearly marked. You're going to die. It indicates <laughs> good health and vitality. Secondly, above the lifeline is the second most important marking in palmistry. The headline here is separate from your lifeline, indicating a logical and direct way of thinking. I've got half of the one of those. Of this line also indicates you have a good memory, which is always a good thing. Ah, I don't have that. Next, your heart line, which is here from the centre finger to the left of your palm. Yours begins at the middle finger, which indicates you have a materialistic look upon life and love. These small broken lines indicate you have been unlucky in love. Mine goes to Lastly, my index your finger. Is square in shape. Mm, very square in fact. This suggests you're a hard working, dedicated and earthy individual. Yeah, I guess. This is a good sign. It means you have good values and provide much for those you know and work with. Like hacking their files and stealing their this photos and quitting your job. Yes, actually. I didn't realise the palm could be so revealing. Was it accurate? Ah, that would be telling. For now, I can tell you it was spookily accurate. So you're telling. Things to burn for these kind of skills, you know. I know, superstitious fools. Even isolated villages like Saxton were ransacked by witch hunters, angry torch-bearing thugs, and the paranoid religious zealots of the Abbey. I believe the innocent people, burned to lives, still haunt this town. They are seeking justice for their deaths. A terrible business. Saxton is just a joy to live in, clearly. Whoa! <laughs> oh my... That's not a moon! 24 hours remain. <laughs> Excellent. Well done, sir. Oh, dear. It had to be said. I mean, look at this. It's huge. Oh, it's a dramatic effect. That's like some realism, Sexton. It's going to wreck the Earth's tides. <laughs> Sexton experiences a tsunami. Oh, I left my computer on. Well, maybe we can listen to those tapes at last. So you're just gonna go straight to bed. Well, we're nope. still meant to be ah, meeting we someone. Control. We're still meant to be meeting someone in the pub, right? 